Hi, I'm Chef Michael Cowan from the Boathouse 2 on Hilton Head Island, and thank you for visiting SaberSouthCarolina.com. Today we are going to be preparing a pan-seared American red snapper with a sweet corn and potato hash and a roasted red pepper celery apple puree. What we're going to start with is the snapper. What we have here is a true American red snapper, which are caught right out here in the waters in front of Hilton Head Island. What you want to do is start from behind the gill. This is the fattiest part of the snapper. It's got the most amount of meat. The snapper skin is pretty tough, so I like to use a serrated knife to get through the skin and the flesh. Go about halfway through the fish. That's where you're going to find the majority of the bones. And then I'll use a boning knife to cut down the back of the snapper to start taking the filet off. Once you get a nice cut down along the back, you're going to cut along the tail again with the serrated knife. That way you get a nice clean cut once you're down to the bottom of the filet. Run your knife along the bones to get the most amount of meat as possible off the fish. Once you get about halfway through, you'll find the middle of the fish. You want to go ahead and poke your knife through and finish going all the way down. So as we go down the side here, we're going to keep cutting all the way down the edge. And you really want to be careful of these fins right here. They are sharp as needles and will really prick you. Again, when you're cutting up through here, there's a lot of bones right inside here. So I like to use a serrated knife to cut through the bones. Cut up through the belly, and then your beautiful snapper filet right there. And then to do the other side, just repeat the same process. Now we're going to take the skin off. And when you're taking the skin off, the most important thing is to keep as much meat off the skin as possible. That way, you'll get a better filet of fish. So always take a little bit of the tail off, and you're going to use that to hold the skin and to pull right through the fish. There you go. No meat left on the skin, and then this is just trash. Okay, next I'm going to show you, we're going to take the belly off. This part is inedible, so you just want to cut around that. There is a lot of bones in this part of the fish, but you just want to take your knife and cut right through them. Now that's just a really nice fillet of fish right there, very fresh. You can see how it's nice and firm. It's not too mushy. If it gets a little mushy, you know you, that you've got an old piece of fish. Now normally what I do is, this is called the bloodline right here. I'll just take my knife and I'll cut right down here through the bloodline. Then up here you're going to have some bones. So we're going to take that, take our knife, we're going to cut these bones out. And this size filet, this will give us three or four portions of fish. I'm going to show you how to prepare the pan-seared American Red Snapper. I always keep my saute pans in an oven so they're already hot. And when searing any kind of fish, normally I'll either use olive oil or butter. And I always flour the fish into seasoned flour to keep it from sticking. You're going to let the snapper sit for a little while and get a nice golden brown. We're going to go ahead and flip this over. That's exactly what you want right there. That's going to be nice and crispy. We're going to finish this off in the oven for about two or three minutes. We're going to start preparing the sweet corn hash. We'll also prepare the sauce to go with it. So our first step with our sweet corn hash is to have a nice hot pan. First we're going to add a little bit of garlic butter. So I'll take that a little bit. And then we're going to add our ingredients, half a cup of potatoes. And these are just some white potatoes that I small diced, tossed in a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper, and roasted in the oven. Put about a half a cup of the charred sweet yellow corn. And what I do is while it's still on the husk, I put it on the grill and get a nice black char on it. About a quarter cup of some sauteed white onions. Just saute until they're nice translucent. And about one cup of bacon. And this is some applewood smoked bacon which is chiffonade, which is a real small slice. And then I rendered it off in a saute pan, removing all of the fat. We're going to let that saute just so it gets nice and warm. And while that's going, we'll create our roasted red pepper, celery, and apple puree. This is just uh, extra virgin olive oil. Adds a really nice flavor to the ending sauce. First, we're going to add our roasted red peppers that I've removed the seeds and the skin. Then we're going to add our sauteed Granny Smith apples that I've sauteed in butter. Then we'll add our minced celery, sauteed in olive oil. We're going to add a little bit of fish stock that we always season with salt and pepper. Now we're going to finish our potato hash just with a little bit of scallions. Add a little salt and pepper. So this is ready to go. We're just going to set this off to the side, keeping it nice and warm until our fish is ready to go. We're going to put our roasted red pepper, celery, and apple puree into a blender and puree it until it's nice and fine. Then we'll cover with the towel. Now when I adjust the consistency, I'll either add a little bit more of the fish stock or sometimes just a little bit of olive oil, depending on how you like it. We're going to plate our hash first. Snapper will go on top of that. And then our roasted red pepper puree. Nice to go right around the fish. And then sometimes you can garnish with a little bit of scallions. And then I always like to use a little bit of fried carrots. There you go. It's our pan-seared American red snapper with sweet corn potato hash and celery apple roasted red pepper puree.